In this video, we're going to look at how we can create a stopwatch program using Python and the time library. Let's start coding our stopwatch. So we're going to make a, a quick stopwatch program. So I'm just saying what it is with a little comment. I need to import um, a time as a uh, I'm going to call mine SW for stopwatch this time. Why not? Um, so let's print, uh, press enter to start the stopwatch. And then uh, we're going to get the press of the keyboard input boom boom like that but I'm not going to put what they type into a variable I'm just putting input so when they press enter it will move on so it will almost pause the program until they do press the enter key but we're not interested in what they type we're just waiting for them to press enter so we're ready to continue so let's continue so let's set the start time yeah start time equals so our stopwatch um, what's the time on the stopwatch in seconds that will tell us and then we can say print and then uh, press enter to stop so again we're just going to wait for them to press enter by using input and then we will get the end time and that's also going to be equal to the time in seconds on our stopwatch. So there it is. And then we're going to work out the time that's elapsed. So we'll call that time taken equals the end time take away the start time. And then we know how long it will take. So let's output that. So print at the time taken in seconds. So that will be uh, time taken, comma, and let's put the units, seconds. And we'll close that off. And if we run that program, it says press enter to stop the stopwatch. Press enter to stop the stopwatch. And that took me 2.870929718017578 seconds, which is obviously to a lot of accuracy, more accuracy than we might wish. So let's round up that number. So around the time taken where I've done my calculation, I'm going to do round and put it in brackets. If we just left it at that, it would do it to the nearest second. Press enter to start the stopwatch. And then we can stop it by pressing enter as well. That took five seconds, but maybe that isn't accurate enough. So therefore, let's go back to where we rounded it and let's say, let's say three decimal places. Um, so now when we run it, Press enter to start the stopwatch. Press enter to stop. That tells me it took 2.456 seconds. So once again, we've imported our time. We've asked them to press enter. There's input. Now that just pauses the program until they do press enter. Then start time. So we start the timer when they've pressed it. We tell them we want them to stop. We'll wait for them to press enter again until they, uh, so that we can stop the clock. And that's when we take the end time. And then we work out the time taken by subtracting the start time from the end time. We round that up. Or I've done mine to three decimal places, but you could say four or two or even just one. And then output the time it took. So that's how to create a quick stopwatch program in Python.